everybody uh, coming live here in my group intuitive angel messages and um, I'm really excited because uh, Paul is going to be joining me today and uh, we're gonna be talking about um, how connecting with spirit has changed things like how has that impacted and affected your life and what are some of the things that you've learned from 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 this from the experiences that we've had and so I'm really excited to uh, have Paul jump on with me and we're going to be talking about um, you know some of the um, I, I, I would love to hear from Paul uh, you know some of the ascension symptoms he might be having and what are they and uh, what is he experiencing these days I know that I am having my experiences and I know each of you are having your experiences and so it'll be really really cool to see that hi guys um, <clears throat> so uh, as many of you know I have also just put on a recent broadcast of uh, a channeled message in regards to the Amazon forest that is on my YouTube channel Kristen Davies and I would really love it if you guys would go and check that out it's six minutes long and I really think it's important that we all uh, have a, a listen to that and then uh, move in the direction um, as as to where your heart guides you okay I'm not here to tell anybody do this or do that um, but I do channel uh, spirit and I channel a lot of high vibrational beings of light and love and I think that they have a lot of words of wisdom and I think that's really important I think when you connect in with your guardian angels um, the archangels uh, ascended masters source that you get a completely different perspective on life and uh, a lot of the time most of the time is it's very high vibrational and whether you can hear them or not or whether you're connecting with them or not um, spirit hears you and that was a real rude awakening for me at the age of uh, 29 uh, I came to that conclusion that uh, my angels could hear all of my thoughts and my words and what I wrote down they knew they knew everything so uh, that moment was really eye-opening for me because I realized that I wasn't alone and I think that that's really important in the world to know that you are so not alone we have never been alone we've just been temporarily pinched off from this high, vibra high vibrational frequency that's all around us so um, I'm just going to come and uh, bring Paul on with me and oh so let's see here Well, well, well. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here again. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing pretty How's good. Down south, is it pretty hot? Oh, is it hot in Alabama? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like, it's been a hundred degrees lately a few days. It's been like blazing hot, but then it's been raining a lot the oh, past few good. days, which has felt really good. I've been going out in the rain and just. I bet you have. I like being out in the rain sometimes. I was just saying to Alyssa today, I said, I wonder what it was like a hundred years ago when they didn't have like air conditioning, especially down south. I was literally just saying that in the car today. And we were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how we're, yeah. we're starting to notice um, some of these, well, we can, we can call them solar storms or we can call it um, energy uh, washing over the planet. Um, we can call it uh, high light and love we can call it energy that's washing over each of us and the planet itself and that usually results in ascension symptoms have you been no have you been noticing ascension symptoms at all these days oh uh, yeah <laughs> what are oh, some yeah. of the things you've been noticing oh just i've had to just I notice it's really important to quiet my mind. So it's, it makes it way easier to deal with yeah. them, you know, to just. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Receive that. Uh, those downloads. Those. Uh, 
of the universe just to be at the zero point Balanced. just to because that's the, that's the hard thing for me is really to ground really um because i'll do meditations but i'll get way out there you know what i mean i'll get <laughs> But uh, I need to get more down. <laughs> yeah, well, so, it... that's, that's just helps me. But yeah, I've been, I've, I've had to just meditate more and get centered more. I, I've had to get really serious about just my spirituality. You know, like I've, I've kind of taken it a little lightly in the past, a little bit more. I've, I've focused on it a lot, but it's. I'm just taking it more seriously because it's it's really important. It's like one of, it's the most important thing, you know, like keeping your vibration high on here on earth. So. I totally agree with you. And when these waves come in, uh, I know the very first impact that I was having was in 2017. And a friend of mine said, you need to try EFT tapping because you're resisting this. You're fighting it. And I was like, yeah, I'm fighting it. <laughs> you darn right I am. Because <laughs> it was so overwhelming and it, it pools in through your heart chakra and then you get heart palpitations and <laughs> your body's kind of into a fight or flight <laughs> mode like what's happening to me and I, I was yeah my body was resisting it so therefore I was resisting it so the EFT tapping really helped to tell my body you know it's gonna be okay you can just relax <laughs> and then once I did that it just yeah, the, seemed to flow a lot better and the meditating really helps and the grounding outside. So what are some of the symptoms that you've been having recently? Let's see if they match up with mine. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch that I'm not aware of or something, but uh, yeah, I like how you said about EFT tapping, like getting the energy to flow through your body is really important. Cause like, if it doesn't, it kind of gets stuck around. You kind of like, that's how I like to say really active exercise. Yeah. I do a lot of yoga. Yeah. Like, like, like with my, like when I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking, all right, today I want to quiet my mind and I want to ground. Like that's, I hold that intention yeah. for a lot of the day. It's like a full-time job it, almost for me sometimes, it, mm -hmm. just focusing you on You know that. what I've come yeah. to realize? I mean, it, it's not easy. Yeah. What I'm, I was avoiding it yeah. for a while. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know what I've come, you know, I didn't always know this. And, um, I've had, you know, so many readings in a row that you come to realize that depending on where your soul has incarnated, because it hasn't always been earth. Um, to be honest, I've never met one single soul that's only incarnated on earth. Um, now I've met a soul that has incarnated for their second, second time on earth, uh, but not like your first time, only time, this is here. I'm So that therefore you would not be a star seed. You will only have incarnated on earth. I've never experienced that. So I've only incarnated, I've only seen people that have had lifetimes elsewhere. And then earth is like two or three down the line, but depending on where your soul has incarnated, it really, uh, I think it's much more influential on this lifetime than we realize big time. <laughs> yeah. And this time is very like, uh, yeah. it's, it can be crazy, you know, like the, what's going on on earth and what's going on with our bodies and stuff yeah. like, all the stuff that we're releasing, all the karma, all the, all the uh, emotional blocks, all the all the lifetime. It's a lot of stuff. I think it's going to take many lifetimes, as I've heard them say. So I go with what I get from spirit. Is you know we're going to make a good impact and a good dent in this lifetime, though I say. And um, so some of the, if, if anybody wants to type some of their ascension symptoms that they're they're experiencing recently, just to give an idea of what people are experiencing. Some some of the experiences I'm having recently is um, for no reason out of the blue, I'm doing intense sneezing. And I think it's because I have a buildup of energy in my upper half of my body. Maybe I haven't gone out and grounded as much as I should have. And so then I'm sneezing and I feel like I'm kind of, my body's trying to release. And at the same time, I'm getting uh, like itchy hot pockets on my skin, which come and then they go within minutes. Um, I had one on my neck. It was driving me nuts. And I was like, stop scratching, you know? And uh, today, <laughs> yesterday I said to my massage therapist, I said, uh, are you noticing any itchy hot pockets? Cause she doesn't know about any of this. She doesn't know about ascension symptoms. She goes, yeah, I am mostly on my legs. I said, me too. 
Again, I'm getting on my legs and my in the front of my throat. Another friend has it on the back of her neck. So we have some people coming in trouble sleeping, remembering many dreams when I do sleep. Yeah. I've been having really intense dreams and I'm waking up, which I never do. So all of a sudden I'm waking up and I'm looking around the room and I'm like, yep, incoming, yeah. incoming energy, <laughs> creating a tad bit of anxiety. <laughs> and then I just go back to sleep and I'm all good. But it's usually during this time, just the energy is really ramped up. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sandra's saying spaciness, like really spacey. Me too. Like, and, and time seems like it's going by really fast, doesn't it? Like, boom, day's yeah, over. Definitely. I'll see you on Friday in five minutes. I mean, in the blink of an eye. <laughs> so I was going to ask you, oh, yeah. what? what are what is a few what is the i'll say a top but you can say several what is um what is like some of the top things that you have learned um about your connection with the energy around you or we could say spirit like what are some of the what are some of the um things that you've really come to uh guys phone overheated and um, popped me right off. So, um, so <clears throat> yeah, so the question is like, what have we learned in having the connection with spirit? That is what uh, we are gonna go with. Paul, I'll just wait for you to pop on and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, sorry, phone overheated, popped me off, off I went. What are you gonna do? The channeling part's the easy part. It's the uh, technology part that's the hard part. <laughs> Good times. Thanks for coming back, being patient with us. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for Paul to pop back on. And um, what are some of the other ascension symptoms that everybody's having? For me, it's been, um, it's been intense dreams, uh, itchy hot pockets. It's been really intense. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a big hug. Oh, Tracy, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's hard. I'm sending you lots of love. All right, round two. Uh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, so what is what is what are some of the top things that you've learned with uh, connecting with spirit? Well, uh, yes, I think I have. I, I've learned a lot, and I've one of the, th the top things I've learned is that I'm always protected. Mm -hmm. And that's really, it's really good to trust that you're protected. And because I've had a lot of paranoia in the past about all these other things and stuff like that. So that's, that's, re that was really good for me. And, uh, and really that it can help in like every part of your life and stuff and really move you forward. And it's, and most of this, it's really taught me mostly, mostly about myself. A lot, of, a lot of, like it's not it's great to know all the information from channeling and all this stuff but they really want us to become in tune with ourselves our true selves our authentic or our true essence you know well said. and that's what i've that's like the, the most thing that i've that i've learned from like just to become who i really am my true essence to connect my higher self and back to who i really am and that's that's been really important to me and that's helped me to like really love myself and, and um, realize the beauty inside me and how amazing I am and all the good stuff. That's, that's really the, the most important part of me part about this, about all of this is really just spiritual growth and all that kind of stuff. But yes, I've, there's a lot of other things. I'll think of them in a second or so, but <laughs> 
Um, I'll add to that in that when you connect with high vibrational frequency, um, you get a taste of a whole other level of love. And so it kind of amplifies that love for yourself and others. And they don't hold judgment. They don't hold unfor you know, unforgiveness. So you are taught mm, on a daily basis that is important, you know, to, to follow that lead. And I don't see them being fearful and I don't see them being low vibrational in any way, shape or form. So it kind of keeps you in line a bit. It also helps you to um, uh, project out your own energy and hold your own space and know mm -hmm. who you are and hold to that unrelentingly so like that's just how it is you shift yes. your whole frequency and it's, it's a made wonderful me realize thing. yeah it's also made me realize that i don't need or that i'm not just this little small thing in a human body that i'm not just the human body or whatever it is you know you're much more than that and uh that's you're just like i mean you're very uh, multidimensional, just like your spirit guides, and just like your uh, two spirit your spirit guides that you came with. You they you are just as high dimensional as they are. They're just at a different perspective, at being able to relay different guidance to you. And you have your higher self, which is also at almost the same, probably the same. Like a lot of times, it was your sister as Arcturian or something like this. You are just as high vibrational as them, and in, uh, in the from that perspective or something. So that's really helped me some. I've always found also like when I have extremely high vibrational beings of light and love, like the Pleiadians or the Octurians, and they're like up in the 12D, you know, they're really high, high up. I can only sustain a conversation with them for anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And then I can't, I just can't sustain it any longer because my vibrational frequency is here. <laughs> so it's so high vibrational that I can physically only take in and take it on for so, so long. Um, and so it's really interesting to see where other beings are uh, in comparison to where we are. It's, it's, um, they're here to help us. They're much and... more evolved. Yeah. So everything they're going to say is going to be like amazing and stuff. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. Like a broader <laughs> perspective. And, uh, and I'm like, so could you like, uh, you know, just kind of dumb that down for me so I understand what you're saying? <laughs> I have that. And sometimes they use words and I'm using Google and then I can hear them chuckling because I don't understand the word that they've used. <laughs> but what are you going to do, right? I'm only human. Yeah. And a lot of times it's about the feeling that you get from them. It's not all about just what the words that they relay. So like the... Uh, I totally agree with you. Or the totally. download that you receive so you can receive a whole book of downloads in just one little compartmentalized download or something you don't have to um or like this that and then like that's a new way of how things are going to happen on the new uh with the new paradigm and stuff it's going to be easier to transfer the transfer of information is going to be a lot easier <laughs> instead right. of in this human language you know <laughs> my guardian angel just said that to me last night she's like it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to be a lot smoother and easier in all of your lifetimes to come. And I'm like, Phew, good. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Sign me up. Where do I sign? <laughs> so like, you know, if you're interested in awakening, awakening, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in that. You know, when you're awakening, when, like, how do you know, how do you know when you're awakening? I'd love to hear your answer. Like, how, how do you know? Okay. I'm awakening right now. Well, <laughs> we're always awakening and people don't understand that, but yeah. when you're actually awakening to like, when you, when it's you're conscious of it, <laughs> yeah. yeah, when, um, I mean, you just, it's just, a, it's hard to explain, honestly. <laughs> it's, you, you it's really. You start to be more curious. Yeah. You start to ask more questions. Oh, yeah, you definitely. Start watching, you start watching YouTube videos. Yeah, one of the questions that at first kind of led me towards my awakening a little bit is who am I? 
Like who, what am I like? Really? What? I, okay. I, I'm, I play soccer. I eat this way and I do these all things and I'm this and this and all this, but who am I really underneath all that? Like who, what am I really? And that would always get me depressed because I never knew who I really was. And then yeah. once I, and then once I started to awaken more and more and I, when I, and then I started to find that, then it was much better, but yeah, that yeah. was just one of the first. And then also just changing my diet, like my diet changed more and a couple of different things. And like mine happened very like fast, very, very fast. Yeah. And like, yeah. well, and and that's that's that happened for everyone. Age. Like young, young age, like, you know, like <clears throat> I've had, um, you know, well, how many people, you know, have had awakenings in their, you know, late teens, um, you know, really yours happened quite quickly. It was go time. And you were like, what's happening? So you, you, you had to learn on the fly, I suppose is what it was, wasn't it? You really had to learn. You had to like, okay, what's happening here? And get some I had help. a lot of help too. I didn't just do it all my own. I had a yeah. lot of help <laughs> yeah. just from like the, the meditations that I've done and from other people that have helped me out and things like that. I needed that help to get through that. And yeah. obviously you and yeah. all the, in that course and a lot of different things have helped me. So yeah. that's been great. And it's like you learn and you grow and then what you've, what you've learned and grown with, you can help others with, which is a beautiful thing. So what did you notice energetically when you came into the last course last january let me think back <laughs> that was about that was like about six months ago six months yeah, ago or like, so yeah seven but, months ago <laughs> but um hmm. energy coming um what yes. drew you to the course also, also, I I looked. I I was watching Alex's videos, and I know you yeah. did stuff with Alex. Yeah. Alex, uh, and uh, and then I saw you and your videos, and that you're doing this kind of mediumship course, and I resonated with your videos and stuff like that. And I was like, uh, I think I, I think I'm I'm feeling led to do this, and I don't feel led to do that many things a lot of times. Or, and it's when I do, I'm like, I better just I better do it, you know. <laughs> The whole, yeah. I always say that to people. If you don't, feel, if it feels flat, don't go in that direction. Like, just don't go. It's just not the right time. It's just not. But if you feel that pull, go, go. Uh, you, you know, your higher self, your team is guiding you. And then, so when you were in the course, what what were your first impressions? Like, were you like, what were you, your thoughts about the vibrational frequency when you were in it? So I joined a little bit late, but. Uh -huh. I really, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty eye opening. It was pretty cool. And, um, oh yeah, it got me more to trust myself. I think that was, that was good. And like, that's one of the biggest parts of the course. It's not just the mediumship part, mediumship part is really feeling this trust in yourself and releasing all this doubt. And you can use that trust and not just mediumship. This is like, for, you can use it for anything in your life. But like this, this trust that you build in yourself to trust what you, what who you are and what you're doing kind of like with it and the channelings and stuff like that. And then, yes, I, and I opened up more and uh, it was really important for me to ground, to, like just do everything, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of going all over the place, but. Yeah. Well, you, I definitely noticed, I'll tell you what I noticed, um, your energy really grounded a lot more in comparison yeah. to before and then afterwards. Like, yeah, a lot I'd never grounded. heard of grounding before you started talking about it a lot. <laughs> and even people say to me, what is grounding? What is grounding? Do you want to answer that one? What's really, grounding? for me... I've, I've always connected to my higher self and way out into the universe to the source, connecting the source. I've used that meditation a lot, connecting the source and the galaxy and all that. But I never, I never put, put my energy into the earth, but I never had never grounded my energy all the way like down. I have to do that all the way down to the center of the earth sometimes to really get myself, myself grounded and, uh, and really get my energy uh, connected with the earth because Otherwise, when this high vibrational frequency comes in, you're just, 
you're just, so it's really important to connect with the earth. And also when you have a buildup of, of this energy, EFT tapping, and also grounding really helps to move it through. Otherwise, I find, I don't know about you, but I find like the energy just hangs out um, and, and can really make me lightheaded and dizzy if it, if it hangs out here. And so in order to get it pulled through me into the earth is really important. So it's leaning on a tree, sitting by a body of water. Um, the angels were the ones that told me this. Um, rose quartz, a nice big hunk, preferably rough cut palm size on your lap that will help open the bottom three chakras and like really clear them out and anchor you down you i felt it when i was like oh okay i put it on my lap i'm like oh <laughs> you know so uh there are a lot of ways to ground you can put your feet into salt baths having a salt bath um you know it grounding foods rooted vegetables lots of spring water it really helps a lot. And um, I think also when you connect in with other frequencies like a course or a class or whatnot, it can also help to ground you as well, I think, from what I've seen. <clears throat> yes. So, and also really like, when, when I yeah. don't ground, I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah. When I don't ground, I, I avoid, uh, I kind of avoid the frequencies because they're too much and I'll like feel my electronics too much or something, you know, like yeah. if I can't take it or, but that was just one other thing. So, and so. I, I think also like if we, if we consistently ground every single day, we can handle the high vibrational frequencies coming in much more easily. And that creating that balance with meditation too is also very grounding. <clears throat> so, um, the other thing I was going to say is um, we're going to have to learn to do this more and more so in time because this is just going to keep coming. Everybody says, what about this event? Is this is the event coming? Well, it's going to happen for the rest of our lives, everybody. Party on planet Earth. Many it's events. 200 years, 300 years or something like that. I don't know. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> so... So I'm looking forward to practicing live with you in this upcoming course. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing some more shifts and changes in you, in everyone, in myself. I can't wait. Um, and it's coming up September 15th till the 30th. And um, <clears throat> we're going to do practicing with angel cards. And we're going to be practicing channeling. We're going to be practicing sensing energy so you know what energy and what frequency is around you. We're going to be practicing like, you know, our, which of your chakras are mainly open? Where are you channeling from? Are you more clairaudient or are you more clairsentient or are you more clairvoyant, claircognizant? A, a few people I've met, only a few, um, are able to uh, get sent. Scent is a big thing. I've only had that a couple times in my life. A good friend of mine and me were sitting and she says, do you smell this type of flower right now? And I said, yeah. And she goes, that's my mom's favorite flower. And we were talking about her mom right then. And then right then her mom started to channel through me and I relayed the message for her. And it's, you know, it's just really healing. It's really healing. You don't have to do this to sit, to help everybody in the world, but my goodness, definitely for yourself and for your close friends and family, when they come to you and they need that, that guidance, have you noticed that? Have you been relaying any messages for anyone or, you know, sharing with anyone, helping anyone spiritually? I've helped my mom some yeah. Yeah. get over a couple of things. Just, I'm, I'm just kind of, I've always been pretty intuitive. I'm just gotten more confident with it and helping her with some stuff like that and some fears she has and some fears that I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yes, my, yeah, my, m most people, like the other three people in my family are not as opened up. They're kind of more closed off. So I don't talk to them as much yeah. anymore as I used to, but um uh, I've helped some of my friends, yeah, I've, I've helped some of them, I've helped, but, um, 
it can only help some someone so much before they have to try to help themselves more. That's what I've really noticed with it's all about self care and like that's what I really want my friends to do is care Be for careful. themselves and that's what I've really been doing a lot for myself. I learned how to self care and self love and that's really important. That's like the best thing you can teach more. someone, I think. I couldn't agree with you more and I know that when I've channeled the angels, they say that that is the most important thing that you can do for yourself on earth. Those are the self-love and self-care. They've said that many times. And, you know, it's fascinating because when you're connecting, you're learning and growing with them. You just amaze. Sometimes I watch my own channelings back. And I'm like, wow. I've even watched myself back tearing up and then I'm tearing up while I'm watching myself tear up. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but you know um it it just fascinates me and you don't realize how you can impact another person on the planet in such a positive way you don't have the full uh comprehension of that until you start getting messages and emails from people all over the world and it, it's it's just beyond heartwarming it's why i do what i do and uh, when you come from a high vibrational heart-centered place, now we're not always perfect, okay? So let's not, let's put a disclaimer out there. Uh, <laughs> forget about being perfect on planet Earth. It's not going to happen. But if you can attempt to come from this place, then that is what you will attract in the world. That is what you will um, connect even more so with on the other side. It's just the law of attraction. And it's about holding your space. I love it. Yeah, so most of us came here to awaken. Like, we didn't come here just to hang out and drink alcohol and do all that stuff. You know, maybe some people did. Not that many. Most people, before they came in, they're like, I want to expand my consciousness. You know, this is this is, this is is the way to go. This is the bus to be on, the Ascension I'll, Path. I'll tell you, in my early days... <laughs> My sole goal in life was to go out and have fun and laugh. That was it. And so uh, alcohol was a part of that. And then um, that ride ends and you have to determine which path you want to take next. And then it's a whole other uh, path. And it's wonderful. It's a wonderful path to be on. It's just on a whole other level. Um, so does anybody have any questions for me and Paul? Oh, awesome. You're going to get angel cards next month, Tara. I love it. Ooh, and you have had several since. I love it. Yep. Um, sometimes I'll be, uh, you know, alone in a home, not mine, in nobody else's home, and all of a sudden I'm smelling cigarettes. And I'm like, where's that coming from? All the doors and windows are shut. And I'm like, okay, all right. Auntie Margaret, is that you? <laughs> You know, because she really liked, she liked the scotch and she liked the cigarettes. But, you know, she didn't make it to, for too long. Like she passed away in her early 60s. But, you know, uh, we all learn as we move along. And I think as we anchor a lot more of this light, as the angels tell me, our bodies will be healing more often and on a deeper level. So I'm like all for it. Ooh. I've, got, I've gotten better at yes or no questions too. That's really been really important for me. And uh, mm. I have gotten interference a few times just because maybe it's because it's a lot of the lights coming to the earth. And also just because if I have to align my channels perfectly with source and then it's easier for me to get like perfect inf or like more better information. Or if I come down more into my heart, it's yeah. that doesn't never really lies. But if I, I, sometimes I focus too much on this and, uh, I'm able to tell yes or no answer with that, but it's not as accurate sometimes if I focus more on the heart. Here yeah. is really accurate. Holy yeah. do they, is it, all they have to do is <laughs> spirit, yeah. shut that down just a bit. They just have to stop the flow a little bit into your heart chakra. Boy, you'll feel that. I can't imagine how you wouldn't, and in your stomach too. Um, Bonnie's asking, does it matter which angel cars you purchase? I don't think it really matters. I don't think it either. I think it's where you're drawn um, you know, there are so many uh, individuals that are making amazing angel cards. Even we're going to, um, there's going to be um, <clears throat> some information in the course on how to make your own decks of angel cards, if you'd like to do that. 
for me personally, um, I have several of Doreen Virtue's uh, decks from the past. It was one of my first decks back way, way, way back when. I still have them. Um, it's whatever you're really drawn to and you keep looking at. You can go to your local uh, crystal shop or your bookstore. They all have decks of angel cards. Or you can order them on Amazon or um, eBay. So uh, whichever ones uh, you feel gravitated towards, go. You know, and, and maybe you want to get a couple decks. You go for those. A couple decks? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm going to learn with you guys with the angel cards because I'm not as uh, good with those. I, Archangel Michael, he can – like it's easy. I've gotten a lot more so where they can, he can move my hand a lot, a lot better. Yeah. So if so. we can just get out of the way to allow them to help us, a lot of people don't know that way of doing their angel cards. So that's what I'm going to show them in this course. What I've shown you in the past, a lot of people will shuffle them. A lot of card fall out. That's a great way too. But the way that I do it is I literally step aside temporarily and I just quiet myself and I let my team of angels choose the cards through my hand and I'm going to show everybody how to do that oh isn't that wild wow Faye that's cool wow so yeah you know your loved ones will come through and try to get your attention in any which way possible and if they are really trying they're just letting you know that they're there or you really do need to hear from them and they're there to help you i've never had a soul that is crossed over who wants us to be unhappy and miserable never not once not ever if anything it is the furthest extreme opposite they're trying to help us heal and they'd like us to be high vibration or just just enjoy life you know um just heal from whatever we need to heal from just to move and shift even into a better feeling place i mean i don't have to be skipping down the street and singing but they certainly would like us to start to shift into a healing better feeling place so that's really important to know that that your loved ones are all rooting for you here in your bodies here on earth and they're all watching and they're all aware. And there's never a time where they don't get the message. So as soon as you're asking or talking with them, they're like, they know it. And if they're busy, their guardian angel gets the message and relays it to them. Every single time. I've never had a time where I'm not getting any response. I've, I, I personally have never had that happen. <clears throat> so I'm super pumped to practice with you live in the course, you know. I think we're going to move mountains. I think we're going to make magic happen. I think you're going to be surprised at what happens. I can't wait. I'm always surprised. Whenever I think I know, know something, it's always going, it always yeah. surprises me, which is awesome. I love, no. I love practicing with everybody in the course because then I'm tuning in. I got a little card in my back pocket. I tune in with what your angels are telling me. <laughs> guiding me and then I kind of will you know move in that direction and then see w where we go and then of course if anyone has any questions then we can just go ahead and answer those questions right live I find that everybody gains a great deal of value from everybody else practicing live and you don't have to practice live but you can sit and get free readings for two weeks or you can practice you can practice yeah, a lot of it is having that space to be able to express yourself emotionally yeah. what however you want because there's not there's like no judgment in the course and like I, it's hard like i've been around a lot of friends that are very judgmental and now i don't care that i'm still myself now that i've been around people that are like that in the course it's realized to me that i can just be my myself like without yeah. fear and i can be yeah. like that even Wonderful. like around the judgmental friends like i can still be by myself be my true self you know now that makes my entire you know i love hearing that from you because that's what it's all about others will put their expectations or their judgments or their opinions on you but you don't have to carry that and when you get into a group of people that are really high vibrational and just wonderful and accept you no matter what you can just be who you are and you can go through life that way way past the course and that just that just gives you such contentment in life and such inner peace 
and the people around you pick up on it too in your life they go oh okay well we can't push yeah. buttons that we used to and we can't do what we used to with this person because their vibrational frequency is different and they're not they're not tolerating us don't you find that the people in your life are like mm, okay something's different here <laughs> we can't no point in going yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> my friends are yeah. like Whoa. It's like whoa, what the crap? <laughs> some of them, I, I like. I, I'm still friends with all, like some of them, but yeah. like they, um, they just they notice a huge difference in me because I used to have a lot. That's we always all come in with these um, things that we have to master. Things we have these fears: fear of being alone, fear of uh, fear of. I had a lot of self hatred, and um, mm-hmm. that's helps me get rid of a lot of that and they've noticed that a lot that I've not that I love myself more and that I don't want to like <laughs> I don't want to die anymore like I used to <laughs> a long time ago you know it's amazing how many times I've actually heard that from quite a few people they don't want to be here they want to leave they and you know they they feel a certain way and then this shift happens when they connect and they and it's not even like you have to connect directly yourself, but if you just start to ask your team for help, because we are in a free will zone, it's important to ask. Um, <clears throat> what other thing that I want to say to that? Um, I'm just reading some questions here. And <laughs> Tara's saying, I love that you have such a great sense of humor. You really need humor on this planet. Oh, amen to that. And I don't say that religiously. I just say, I agree. I mean, my goodness, the world's too uptight as it is. Like, we just need to take some, you know, I I think I was kind of born this way. (laughs) My poor mother, back when I was born, (laughs) my sisters aren't quite as uh, free-flowing as I am. But <laughs> I, I was a very, you know, I was just always happy. I don't know. I, that's just how I was. Now, teen years, that's a whole different story. You have to make your way out of that. <laughs> You're like shoveling your way out of that. <laughs> but uh, once you get on the other side, <laughs> yeah. you're like, breath of fresh air. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, laughter is a great way to raise people's vib- vibration. It, 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 it's an instant, you know. You just, you just, yeah. all of a sudden, you just start laughing. It's just, oh, you just oh. gotta be goofy and laugh at yourself. I mean, laugh at the little things. Yeah. Life's too My short to take it too seriously. I say it's too short. Some days it feels like it's going on forever. Am I right? I'm just saying, you know, in some moments in your life, you're like, wow, like I'm only this age. I still got. <laughs> but I'm just saying <clears throat> that. Um, yeah, don't take things too seriously. Because the more seriously you take it, the more seriously it becomes. Why do you want to do that to yourself? That's my motto in life. Yes. And like, uh, yes, we, if we're human, we might as well have fun, you know, have fun, like fun with it. And like, mm-hmm. yes, I noticed that I don't, I don't need to take things so seriously, but I do need to stay disciplined because if I don't stay disciplined, then I really <laughs> fall off because I need a real big kick in the butt sometimes, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. You know what the beauty of it is, though, Paul, even if you kind of go along the path, and I'm no one, I'm not any exception in this, if uh, if you keep going and you need that kick in the butt, boy, your team will give it to you. Your team will give oh, it to yeah. you. I've, <laughs> got it. I've gotten, like, fully kicked in the butt and in ways that I wasn't expecting. And uh, and then uh, my angel will say to me, well, you, you asked for our help, right? You, you did ask for our help. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but uh, so you, when you least expect it, it'll come full circle. And then you're sitting there with your mouth agape, wondering what happened. But ultimately, it's to steer you onto a, a path that's even better for yourself. So they're just here to help us. So what's a great way to raise someone's vibrational f- frequency? raise your own or someone else's um oh. we have uh miss bailey here who's asking this question um what is the best way for her to raise her vibrational frequency i think quieting your mind is really good 
my, my mind's pretty quiet right now so that's <laughs> but oh, like just, it's really quiet but like um yeah that really helps and not having all these uh vibrations in your head and uh all these thoughts you got racing and racing and racing that drives you nuts after time so then you just become the still observer yeah and meditating that helps mm -hmm. and really just even just doing some like with me it helps if I'm feeling bad, I'll just go lay down in bed and um, I'll just put my hand on my heart and put my one of my hands on my navel right here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just do, take deep breaths if I'm feeling bad. And that happens sometimes during the day. And also okay. get it, getting doing some yoga, just stretching, get get, releasing the, te the tension throughout my body, releasing that, just getting the energy flowing because with this – light that's coming to the earth all we have to do is just just be in the moment be in the light and be and to stand in the light and like that that can be harder than it that seems like but yeah <laughs> and there's there's tons of it you can watch kristen's videos or erase your vibration or or yeah, stuff like that, that. <laughs> i mean I, I mean, I'm not always, uh, you know, I'm not always super high vibrational myself. I do have my moments, but they're less than before. My mind used to race all the time. I used to worry and I used to fixate on certain thoughts, like, relentlessly. So, you know, that book, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle really helped me shift that. And my team would say to me, hand off those thoughts. If you don't want them anymore, hand them off to us. And uh, so I said, okay, here you go. <laughs> And I just kept shoveling them on out. Oh, I'm worrying about money again. Here you go. I'm fearful about this might happen in the future, even though nothing's happened yet. And nothing's transpired in my future, but I'm worrying about it. Okay, here you go. It's funny how the things that we fixate on and we worry about, right? Going outdoors. Uh, that's what Joni's saying. I go outside into nature. Whoa, what a way to level yourself and balance, create that stillness. So let's see if there's any channel guidance that would like to come through. <laughs> They're saying no, it's it's you. This is this is you talking today. <laughs> so they they're not channeling through. Oh, they're patting me on the back. Thank you. <laughs> I just got a big hat hand walloped on the, my upper back. I can see it and I can feel it coming up behind me. Um, <clears throat> the one thing that's going to come through now is uh, that this high vibrational frequency is going to continue to escalate, raising the vibrational frequency here on Earth. Um, so it's really important that we still ourselves, right? We don't have to have the tape going all the time and going off, Ooh, like just relax and, and ground as much as you can, create that balance. It's going to be um, uh, more, it's going to be, and then I've heard this before. So we went through what we went through in the spring, which was quite something. And coming through the fall in the next three months, it's going to be even more than that. And then we're going to get a break in December. Yay, Paul, more than in the spring. Bring it on. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to go dip in the ocean. <laughs> For yeah, real. One thing I'd really asked my angels to really put the burners on and really get try to get me on the right track no like no matter what it takes that was just with me just but that's not for everyone i i've realized and i thought i've needed to taper back sometimes and like because i've gone too fast sometimes and it's it's yep. nice to take things slow and because we have a whole lifetime to do this and it yeah, we do. It's really, that's one but, thing. It's like with yeah. yoga, like you don't want to go too far in the stretches. You have a lifetime to do this practice. You don't need to keep going. Yeah. It's almost like the indigo way to want to do things quicker, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you're an indigo kid, you're like, come on, let's go. <laughs> like you're the bulldozer. You're, <laughs> so you kind of have to slow your roll a bit. Someone's asking, what do you think about using magic mushrooms to help raise your vibrational frequency. What would you say to that? I would say uh, to not touch any substances like around this time or even like at all 
period, just because like a lot of people rely on those substances to connect with spirit, to connect with the higher self, to connect with all this stuff. And you can do all that naturally and much more than the substance guys like this. You, you can connect to spirit much more just if you do it naturally. And it's, it's going to be a much more gratifying experience because you're not just doing it for a short time and then it goes away and then you do it again and then it goes away. Like if you do it naturally, it's, it's much more, that's where it ha that's how it's supposed to happen. Like we're, we're all meant to awaken like this, like not like gradually awaken like this. And people want instant gratification sometimes. And I've, I've done that in the past, um, uh, with uh, marijuana and stuff and that did help awaken me some but i awakened way 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 too fast i had i went through a really traumatic experience through that type of stuff and i've and some people say they use it as a tool or this like that i'm not buying it most people are abusing it or abusing these drugs and stuff like that i'm i don't really buy that kind of stuff maybe it helps some people uh, to get a taste of their spirituality maybe and then to see what it's like and then it starts their spiritual awakening but i would say for the most part it's not a great idea especially during this time with all the light coming to the earth and stuff it's important to just stay grounded and go along uh, it, co it coincides with what i hear uh from the angels which is it's important to have a clear vessel and a high vibrational vessel so like even healthier foods like um, and you know, if you need sleep and rest, have more sleep and rest, even the water, I mean, even the water, they were on me about, you know, 15 years ago. So I order spring water out of the phone book from a spring and it comes to my door. There's a lot of minerals and vitamins, you know, in yeah, I need to do that. yeah. so well, I'm trying to find some spring water around in my area. <laughs> yeah. So then it's grocery store spring water. Um, what do you think about CBD oil? Oh, uh, I don't really know much about it. People say it helps them sometimes. Or, um, let's see. Let's see what see what spirit says. Yeah. What do you say about CBD oil? I feel like it's similar to like EFT tapping or really healthy energy. So. She's doing um, that. My guardian angel's doing this. So what does that mean? It means um, if it helps you. And it is um, helping your vessel with a chronic ailment or pain, then please do so. Otherwise, uh, best, it's best not to partake. Thank you, dear ones. That's my guardian angel. Nothing gets past her, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Alyssa the other day, what do you see when my guardian angel's talking? And she says, she looks like Galadriel from Lord of the Rings, tall with blonde hair, oh. very stoic. I go, exactly. That's so I, cool. Is that cool that she picked up exactly what I see with my own guardian angel? And she's very stoic. Like she's more advanced or more uh, like she has really uh, an ancient way about her and she has really... Uh, important guidance. I'm like, exactly. And you know what Alyssa's guardian angel's like? <laughs> what, she's intense? Or oh, he's intense. Like, look out! He's like, a little bit like Archangel Michael, but he talks a lot. Like, he'll talk your ear right off your body. Uh, you know, when he has something to say, he's gonna say it. Um, and he's very direct. And then, uh, He's uh, straight to the point, like this is how it's going to be. And uh, so it's whatever the person needs in their lifetime. If you're kind of, you know, kind of like you're just kind of, you know, dragging your feet, then your angels are going to get on you a little bit more. My angel doesn't need to do that with me because I'm like, hey, you, I ain't dragging here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think also that this course helps you unlearn some of the stuff that you've learned in high school. <laughs> yeah. Which is a good thing. It really is a good thing because if we go through with all logic, you are. It's I've done that. It just doesn't not work, and uh, <laughs> and like 
Yeah, it's like almost like you're saying it's like daydreaming, like you're in high school, like you're just like tuning out, you're tuning it. You were, we were always turning. I guess it, when high school, we were doing a, lot a long of time were, ago. <laughs> we yeah, they were tuning out into spirit. They were like literally having downloads and stuff. You know, like that's what we were doing in high school. A lot of ADD kids and stuff like that, yeah. ADHD kids. Um, yeah, I think everything's happening for a reason. When I was a little kid, we didn't see people with food allergies, gluten allergies, soy allergies. Uh, you know, we didn't, we just didn't see that. I never even met anyone that was, uh, you know, vegan or vegetarian. Then when I was in my teens, we, uh, we met a few people that were vegetarian and we were like, why would you do that? I remember literally asking that. So <laughs> the more we evolved and these, these sensitivities to detergents and uh, fabric softeners and chemicals these are all happening for a reason there's a reason why all of this is happening we are here learning and growing in this way and i think that um it, it's it's really fascinating i really noticed it when i had my house clean company i really noticed going into everyone's homes and everybody having these different allergies to everything i mean my goodness every home i went into but i didn't see that when i was younger just like <clears throat> you know when i was younger um my mom would be like see you later and we'd be off for the day in the forest like y you know people are more sensitive and protective now and keeping everybody in a bubble more now um, so it'll be interesting to see how things unfold in the future. Oh, fantastic, Lisa. Go with the first thing you get. And she might even put a pic, not only the name Rose in your head, but she might put an image of a rose in your head. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, also this course has helped me with, I used to think things on the side of my head. I had all these pressures and I didn't know what they were, and it, this helped me have more clarity in uh, that sense. Yeah. And that's... Who's around me? What do they want to say? Is it male, female? Is this more of an archangel energy or an angel energy? Is this a deceased loved one? Um, can you find out your angel's name with the angel card? I'm going to go with, unless your deck has a yes and a no card in it, then I would say no. So all you need to do is quiet your mind and allow them to put the word in or they'll even spell it. They'll go R-O-S-E, for example, with Rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the angels love to laugh um, and they're not all the same. Uh, my angel doesn't crack jokes all the time. But some angels that come for readings, they're cracking jokes left, right, and center. Or sometimes they're, they're um, coming in with that person's accent. And they're kind of uh, taking, taking that energy on and, and uh, being that way with me. And, it, 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 and it's confirmation for the person. So it's all different. They're all different. Just like we are all different here in, in our human bodies. The angels are all different too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome, Lisa. Yes. One so, thing that's helped me is uh, connect with my higher self and uh, your higher self connect with the angels. And that's how we get a lot of our information. And, and you can uh, connect right with your higher self. And, talk, and, and you can talk right with your higher self anytime you want. That's the I first time I think I channeled something was my higher self because it, yeah. it was like all it's it was like really emotional for me. It was like you are love. You are so loved it's okay to cry and just to some matter it was automatic writing or that's what I did but um that that was a pretty cool experience you just they, your higher self just washes you over with such a high vibrational love energy when I often have a bottle a box of Kleenex nearby because if I'm going to be channeling whomever it'll make me cry like I just cry I can't help myself just can't help it. I'm just like, <laughs> waterworks, here we go. So um, <clears throat> just to let everybody know, if you feel like joining Sorry. us for the mediumship for beginners course, it's starting September 15th. It's $125 US. And um, it's going to be uh, coming up here pretty quick. You can go to kristindaviesmedium.com if you want to read more. 
and you click on services and you can read up more there and um, love to have you if you feel pulled and guided in this direction. Sometimes you have to let it sit and you have to let it see if it feels right. Kind of like what you were doing, uh, joining us again. You're like, you're just kind of seeing how it felt and you kept thinking about it. You kept getting pulled towards it. And yes. <clears throat> I, I get a yes for you too. Your so, higher consciousness it, like, taps into the flat, energy. Yeah. Yeah. Your higher conscious mm -hmm. will tap into the energy and of the course it and how flat, it's going to be. Yes, exactly. And if that's what's best for you, if it feels flat or there's a pullback, like, mm, then it's not the right time. It's just not, it's just not the path for you. So definitely tune in and see how that feels. Well, thank you for joining me. Words of wisdom coming out of you today. I love it. So, um, yes, I, I can. Uh, Paul. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll see you. I'll see you later. And um, everybody have a wonderful night. And we Bye. will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.